The Israeli-Palestinian conflict has been the focal point of geopolitical instability in the Middle East since the establishment of Israel in 1948. Although the vast majority of the international community, the UN and the United States publicly support a two-state solution to try and end this conflict, after decades of negotiation, the final settlement has never been reached. And tensions between the Jewish state and the Arab world continue to fester. Throughout this process, America has remained firmly behind Israel as its greatest supporter. In fact, Israel receives more U.S. foreign aid than any other country in the world. Now, much of this support has been attributed to a strong, wealthy, and very pro-Israeli lobby in America. Which is true, but you'd think that the majority of the strength behind this lobby would be the Jewish community in the U.S., which is only partially correct, because as it turns out, in terms of sheer numbers, the evangelical Christians from America's Bible Belt make up the majority of this lobby's power base. So we sent Thomas Morton to find out why a bunch of born-again Christians from Texas are so in love with the nation of Israel. This may be the most important prophetic spot in the entire Bible because the final act of the book of Revelation is going to begin right here at this place. The Bible teaches that Russia, Iran, Ethiopia, Libya, Turkey, and other nations will come down under a UN flag and they will invade Israel at this particular point. Can you imagine? Thousands of tanks out here in this valley, rumbling, fighting, firing. Can you imagine jet airplanes screaming overhead? The battle is going to be fierce. The horrific multinational fighting this preacher is describing is the Battle of Armageddon. 